go and find a job or something that can help you to have a better life. attitude change. It is um, a realization that you do not always need expensive things. You can use whatever is in your area, stones, seeds lying around, you can incorporate that into something beautiful. I think it has the um, potential to, to create quite a bit of income for people who are willing to come and sit. But it also teaches discipline. Now, it takes a bit of time to build up a big bead bank. So I think on, on many levels it will be beneficial and for the people who do um, have discipline, who sit and who can make beautiful things that will definitely reap the financial benefits. I'm teaching them the basics of uh, starting to sew from the equipment they use, how to use, uh, how to make patterns from simple uh, floor mats we're making for the crash. The aim is for them to be able to realize that they can produce something from almost uh, nothing, maybe donated fabrics or uh, just something they have in their house to be able to sew and be able to have to be able to judge for themselves the quality that they can produce and make something that is reasonably good enough to sell eventually. Yeah, I think I'm going to open an entrepreneurship. I'm going to be an entrepreneur and make traditional garments so that then grow, I can go and sell somewhere and make a living. The benefit for them, uh, because they're from young ladies to older ladies, even young guys have come. And they're, f they're now surprised that they, they're getting a finished product within two, three days. They're just having enthusiasm to say, oh, I can do something from just a few bits and pieces. For the people who do the course, they will be able to identify problem areas within the community regarding water. The course entails four big steps. First step was where we explained the fundamentals of the importance of water, how it's polluted, how we can save it. The students were given homework to do. They had to go out in their communities and see whether there is a problem and how they can address it. You can see it. It's the canal this. The pollution level of this. People are using this as a dumping site. You see there's too many plastics. Step number two, they shared their information with the rest of the group and with me. And now they are forming a water committee, which will then do various tasks like catchment observation. Step number three, I'm going to teach them how to test water quality. And step number four will be where the committee will then form awareness groups and then spread the message throughout the community so that they can address their problems. The courses we are offering is uh, HIV mainstreaming and HIV advocacy. Advocacy is about advocating for people, especially those who cannot talk for themselves or advocating for yourself basically on HIV to um, get the message across to people that don't really take notice of that specific problem or issue within a community or in, within somebody's immediate life. 
I really found that advocacy was such a good thing to do because now we were able to can reach out the whole of community because we have a lot of stigma and discrimination out whereby people cannot even disclose their status because of those situations. So being an advocate to the people who cannot able to can speak for themselves, it really going to help a lot. We offer them to do their portfolios and so forth to get more into HIV, to educate them more about HIV so that they can go out there and uh, educate other people because of certain things like gender-based violence, substance abuse, etc. Those all fall under HIV. They are linked to HIV and that's what we're trying to bring to people's attention. I'm testing them whether they know how to write a program, invitation letter, uh, the steps of advocacy, they have to read it from the manual and then they, they have to give me the introduction and the conclusion of what they are doing. They can uh, go to communities, they can go to the crashes, they can go to the clinics, they can go to the hospitals and work and help the people who are HIV positive.